please, uh, Christy, the European item. to television and I speak in Romanian but it's necessary for our citizens. Uh, Dragos, help me please. Bună ziua și bine ați venit la ultima etapă de întâlnire a acestui proiect. Good morning everybody and welcome to the last uh, event, last meeting of uh, this project. Sunt foarte bucuros pentru că astăzi avem prezența la nivel înalt al tuturor reprezentanților acestui proiect. Îi spun bun venit lui Paolo Campignotti, prietenul meu de la Gambasi Terme. I am very happy that today we have a high level attendance, a high level presence for all the partners and the municipalities of our project. And uh, I welcome uh, uh, my friend and the mayor of uh, Gambas Terme. Uh, also, de asemenea, de asemenea, salut prezența primarului din Mislata, Carlos. I uh, would also like to welcome uh, uh, the presence of the of the mayor of the municipality of Mislata, Mr. Carlos. Salut uh, prezența reprezentantului primarului din Grecia, Ioana, care este uh, managera de reprezentanta Greciei și care coordonează acest proiect din partea lor. I would uh, also like to welcome uh, the presence of the representative from uh, the municipality from Greece, AAK, uh, Mrs. Ioana, and uh, greetings for being here. Și 
Cei din urmă, ca și cei din tâi, partenerul nostru principal din Polonia salut prezența directorului asociației, dar și primarilor din Polonia care sunt astăzi aici. And uh, of course the the first the last to be the first uh, in the presentation order I mean and I welcome uh, the presence of the uh, representative of uh, of our uh, uh, partner from Poland. Partenerul nostru umbrelă în acest proiect. Our partner which is an umbrella organization in this project. Mă bucur să <coughs> Constat că suntem astăzi uh, uh, multe persoane, un număr mare de, de europeni prezenți uh, în, acest, uh, în această sală. O să avem ocazia să aflăm despre rezultatele proiectului. I am uh, very happy that uh, we have the occasion to be a significant number of uh, attendance of European Uh, citizens, people uh, that attend uh, to this meeting and will have the occasion to find out uh, more uh, about the final results of uh, our project. Și așa cum s-a uh, discutat și la întâlnirea pe care am avut-o online săptămâna trecută, deja se, se conturează uh, un uh, mare succes al acestui proiect și uh, suntem bucuroși că chiar dacă pentru noi, pentru Asociația Stațiunilor Balneare este primul proiect pe care -am, la care am aplicat, ne bucurăm ca acest proiect să fie finalizat cu mare succes. And uh, as we discussed with our consortium partners during our last uh, online meeting, uh, last week coordinated by the Polish partner, uh, we are happy to to see that uh, we we can already uh, have uh, uh, tangible results that are uh, shaping now towards the end of the project and we can already see perspectives for a uh, future uh, cooperation between the the partners uh, am convenit să începem prin a prezenta fiecare reprezentant din țara, din fiecare țară să prezinte echipa și încep eu prin a prezenta echipa din România. We have agreed uh, as, a, um, as an operating uh, um, <coughs> for the morning that each uh, representative from each country will present itself and the team so to be more efficient with the time and I will first uh, start with presenting uh, myself and uh, the, my team. Aș vrea să salut prezența primarilor din uh, localități membre ale asociației din România. Încep cu vecinul nostru, primarul de la Târgu Ocna, la care am fost în vizită data trecută. <coughs> I would like to start by welcoming our uh, the mayors who are members uh, in our association of uh, Balneo Climatic Resorts in Romania and I would like to start uh, by introducing the mayor of uh, Târgocna, uh, our neighbor, uh, neighbor municipality who, where we went to visit uh, in our uh, last uh, uh, event here in uh, Romania back in July. Uh, primarul municipiului Vatra Dornei, domnul Ilie Boancheș. The mayor of the municipality of Vatra Dornei, uh, Mr. Ilie Boancheș. Primarul uh, orașului Gioagiu, orașului stațiune Gioagiu Băi. Împreună cu viceprimarul dumnealui, viceprimarul, uh, viceprimarul uh, comunei Vața de Jos. The mayor from uh, of the municipality of uh, uh, George Bay, along with the vice mayor from the George Bay, and also the mayor of the municipality uh, of uh, Vatsa de Jos. Okay. Aș vrea să, uh, să salut prezența unor oameni importanți din asociația noastră. Este vorba de cenzorul asociației, domnul Cristian, care... Also, I would like to start introducing uh, some key 
persons from the associa our association, uh, the da. sensor of the association, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, salut pe domnul Frăsilă, care este și proprietarul televiziunii Tele Moldova. Uh, Mr. Frăsilă, who is the owner of the Tele Moldova television. Aș vrea să salut prezența domnului profesor Ababei Radu, directorul Direcției Județene pentru Educație și Sport. Uh, Mr. Ababei Radu, the director of the regional uh, direction for uh, youth and sport. Îl salut pe Andrei Chirilă, directorul executiv al Asociației Habitat for Humanity. Andrei Chirila, the executive director of the association Habitat for Humanity. Și pe Natasha Buzatu, care este și ajutorul nostru pe partea de contabilitate a asociației voluntară. Mulțumesc, Natasha. And uh, Miss Natasha Buzatu, who is uh, our uh, financial expert. Uh, in the association, Și acum aș vrea să salut colegii mei din primărie, domnul profesor Stamate, doamna secretar general Sică Marcela, Luminița Botezatu, <plos> Elisabeta Solomon, salutăm pe Ramona Bălan, pe Oana Ardeleanu, pe Mihaela Tudoran, pe Uh, uh, Maria, care este tânăra noastră colegă, pe Viorica, Georgiana, doamna Petrei, Mihaela Scurtu, Mr. Pe, uh, <laughs> uh, thank you very much for my, my team. Uh, Vreau să I-am uh, uh, nominalizat pentru că chiar dacă ei sunt angajații primăriei, nu ai asociației care a pus acest proiect, ei au muncit foarte mult alături de mine pentru acest proiect și uh, vreau să le mulțumesc că cu această ocazie. Este și Cristi și Antonella Vino să te aplaud de lumea aici. I wanted very much to present them because even if they are even if they are working for the Slani Moldova municipality, not for the association which is an umbrella organization, they they uh, put a lot of effort and support uh, for the proper organization and implementation of this. Uh, da, pentru că asociația noastră nu are un staff cum uh, asociația din uh, Baltica are și atunci a trebuit să suplinim aceste uh, această muncă de logistică și de organizare cu Colegii mei și le mulțumesc tare mult. Our association uh, doesn't have uh, large scale staff uh, uh, as uh, our colleagues from Poland have, so we have to uh, put, uh, keep the efforts of uh, implementation of the project with the uh, with the resources and the staff that we have. Acum uh, aș vrea să rog pe Marcin, care este par reprezentantul partenerului nostru să Preste echipa să spună câteva cuvinte. And now I would like to ask uh, uh, Marcin, who is the representative of our partner from Poland, to present himself and say a few words about him and his team. Okay. Hello, Do everyone. Like? It's a pleasure to be here for the second time in our project lifetime. Uh, we are really happy. After, we were really happy after first time, and we hope that the second time will be the most <coughs> enormous that we had before. At the beginning, I would like to thank the organizers and all the employees and staff involved in the project. Thank you for organizing and inviting us uh, here. Uh, bună ziua tuturor! Mulțumim uh, că suntem, vă mulțumim că suntem, sunteți alături. Este a doua oară când ne aflăm uh, la Slănic Moldova. Să sperăm și credem cu siguranță că a doua oară va fi chiar mai bine <laughs> uh, ca în cadrul primului eveniment care a avut loc în iulie în Sunii Moldova și uh, vă mulțumim uh, tuturor uh, pentru că aici gazdelor uh, evenimentului. It's a pleasure to be here and see all the photos, familiar faces. We are already glad so many people who were attending our previous meeting has been with us and will be with us today. Este uh, o plăcere uh, uh, să vedem atâtea fețe familiare 
uh, uitându-ne în această sală și uh, vă mulțumim că sunteți alături de noi astăzi și zilele evenimentului. Not to prolong, I would like to uh, also introduce our team from Poland. We have representatives of three different municipalities. Uh, ca să nu prelungesc foarte mult prezentarea, aș vrea să trec direct uh, la introducerea echipei din Polonia. Avem reprezentanți uh, din uh, trei municipalități uh, din uh, Polonia. At the beginning I would like to introduce two members of the one of or two members of the our municipality which our headquarters is located from Elbląg municipality. Uh, pentru început aș dori să prezint doi membri din uh, ai municipalității din Elbląg unde partenerul și asociația este localizată. Who also represent our president of Elbląg who is apologized but he cannot attend yesterday as far as you know we had elections mm -hmm. in Poland. Uh, uh, cei doi reprezintă președintele din El Blog, echivalentul primarului, dacă putem spune așa, care și-a cerut scuze și-ar fi dorit foarte mult să participe, dar nu a putut pentru că ieri au fost alegeri parlamentare în Polonia, adică alaltă, în duminică, și a fost foarte angrenat în partea de alegeri. I would like to introduce director of the uh, president office and department of president office, Mrs. Uh, Agnieszka Staszewska. Mrs. Agnieszka Staszewska. Agnieszka Ștafesca, care este directorul de cabinet în cadrul, în cadrul, de, în cadrul primăriei din Elblog, un echivalent al, dacă putem face, al secretarului general. And the director of the uh, local seaport authority of Elblog, Mr. Arkadiusz Gniski. Nu l-a care este directorul autorității portuare din El Bloc, din Polonia. And secondly, I would like to uh, introduce the head uh, of the uh, Gurovo Iławeckie Commune and also member of our board of the association, Ms. Bożena Olszewska. Świtaj! Was we last month where you, yes. where you have visit. been in Poland to have occasion to uh, visit our uh, community and observe that we uh, afford to build our spa resort too. Maybe next year we join our uh, Balneo Kibaterica family. <laughs> uh, she, doamna care este primar al unei localități Gorovo. Gorovo. <laughs> din, uh, din uh, Polonia. Uh, și iarăși doamna este membru în bordul Asociației uh, Eurobaltic din Polonia, uh, însă ne povestea că în uh, comunitatea dânsei tocmai a fost inaugurat un centru SPA uh, de mari dimensiuni și speră să la o colaborare mai intensă cu Asociația Stațiunilor pe acest domeniu uh, extrem de important. And representing the mayor of Tolkmitska municipality, who uh, were also not able to attend according to the elections, uh, would like to introduce a member of the city council of uh, Tolkmitska Kyomun, Patricia Herwerder. Patricia <laughs> care este din partea municipalității din Tolmițco, uh, reprezintă această municipalitate, care din același motiv uh, pe care l-am menționat la început cu alegerile care au avut duminică, n-a putut să trimită la nivel de primar și uh, a venit uh, doamna ca reprezentant. And they are also our umbrella partner in the, this project also. And at the end I would like to introduce our new member of the association, also a new member of the project, and uh, representative of who or which city you had to be able to attend. It's Stavi Guda Commune, uh, Pan Dariusz Nawodczyński. Pan Dariusz Nawodczyński, care este reprezentantul unei noi municipalități din cadrul Asociației Eurobaltic, uh, Staviguda. Staviguda, municipalitatea din Staviguda. And also I would like to introduce my wife and my fellow colleague from association, uh, Paulina Lieder Ruchowska. <laughs> who is helping me everything related to the project. Și aș dori să o introduc și pe 
soția și colega mea de, de echipă muncă. în Asociația Eurobaltic, doamna Paulina. Thank you. Mulțumesc. Mr. Mayor, Paolo, please uh, present your team. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm very proud to be here. I'm very happy <coughs> to be in the place of my friend, George, that is the starter of this beautiful project. For me, it's a starter because I was called from, from George some year ago to start together with whole other european partners partners uh, this wonderful project sunt uh, foarte uh, mândru să mă aflu aici și sunt sunt extrem de bucuros să fiu aici uh, la invitația domnului uh, uh, primar uh, Baciu Gheorghe Baciu uh, care m-a contactat acum câțiva ani uh, și m-a Uh, invitat să fiu, să fiu parte, să fiu partener într-un într proiect de cooperare cu, uh, cu România. Uh, now I think that we can say that we know better that Europe is a, the common house and the common family. Acum cred că putem uh, spune și uh, cunoaștem cu adevărat acest lucru că Europa este locul unei uh, case comune pentru noi a unei familii uh, comune. It's every time important to understand in every day of, of our life that our lives are nearest that more than we think our experience are nearest more than we think our history are nearest more than we think este foarte important să conștientizăm zi de zi că viața noastră a tuturor ca indivizi este mai apropiată decât ne imaginăm familiile noastre sunt mai apropiate decât ne imaginăm istoria noastră comună este mai apropiată decât ne imaginăm This is not never easy. Never easy. Uh, acest lucru sigur nu este ușor. And it, this is the most important part of the project. Și uh, ceea ce spuneam mai devreme, consider că este cea mai importantă parte a acestui proiect. Now I introduce my friends that, from Italy. Acum o să um, introduc prietenii mei din Polonia. O să prezint. Din Italia. Uh, din Italia. Italia. <laughs> It's the same house. <laughs> I have with me my principal collaborator that uh, are inside the administration team, Sara, vice mayor, <laughs> Eduardo, that make uh, part, that is made part of the job, uh, the principal. Uh, uh, Corp of uh, uh, um, administration, Sa Samantha too. Sara, uh, vice vice primarul din uh, Gambasi Terme, uh, Eduardo, uh, Samantha, and after Andrea, and other two that are the first time that uh, are with me that. Uh, and uh, they have uh, her part of uh, the administration, Helena <laughs> and Maurizio. Și încă două persoane care sunt pentru prima dată cu mine în proiect, Helena și Maurizio. Our precious collaborator, Susanna. Colaboratorul nostru de uh, foarte important, uh, Suzana. And two person that are representative of our community. The first is Fabrizio, that is an official presenter <laughs> of uh, our initiatives and community parties and all the, 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 the um, community uh, projects that are for Uh, stay together and uh, improve uh, the collaboration in the community. Uh, 
pass across Fabrizio. Fabrizio, care este colegul reprezentantul nostru și cumva coordonează uh, inițiativele locale care implică comunitatea locală. The, the last but not least. <laughs> the Ernesto, that is the director of our thermal issues, and uh, is the principal. Yes, yes, is the principal person uh, that made Gambassi Terme because Ernesto worked good. Okay. <laughs> Ernesto, care este directorul facilităților de terme și spa din Gambasi și care a fost, a făcut posibil să adăugăm cuvântul terme la denumirea Gambasi. Ok, mulțumim, thank you very much. Liza Joana, am văzut din Good morning, everyone. I represent the municipality of Fajan Algerica Matelor, in the metropolitan area of Athens, Greece. Bună dimineața a tuturor, reprezint municipalitatea AAK din de lângă Atena, Grecia. First of all, I would like to thank everyone for the everyone from the representatives for their useful input in this project. În primul rând, aș dori să mulțumesc tuturor reprezentanților din toate țările și pentru contribuția lor la acest proiect. And of course, a special thanks to the coordinator of the project, George and Dragos, for their effort and the hard work that they provided, and of course, the great hospitality. Și bineînțeles, mulțumiri coordonatorului acestui proiect, domnul primar Baciu Gheorghe, pentru suportul pe care ne l-a oferit și pentru hospitalitatea pe care de dovadă. I'm delighted to be here in the last uh, meeting of our project because I'm very curious to see uh, the result of all the input, the ideas and the effort that we uh, dedicated to this uh, project. Sunt foarte bucuros să se mă aflu aici pentru a vedea care cum încheiem acest proiect, care sunt rezultatele uh, concrete ale acestuia și ce And now I would like to present my team from AAK. First of all, Ioana Bisila, who is the manager of the sport department of our municipality, and also Yorgos Papalazaru, who also represented the sport department. Hara Papaleonida, who represents the department of culture in the municipality. And uh, Argiris Papamichalopoulos, who is the external expert of our team. Uh, very happy to be here, and I'm uh, really curious to take notes about the results that we're going to listen uh, the next days. Uh, they, will be, uh, they will be very resourceful days. A fost prezentarea echipei partenerului din Polonia, reprezentanța ai municipalității de lângă Atena, și într-un final, încă o dată, reiterez faptul că sunt foarte fericită să mă aflu aici și abia aștept aceste două zile pentru discuții și activitățile proiectului. Bueno, pues eh, muchísimas gracias, eh, alcalde, por tu hospitalidad y por, en fin, la organización de este evento durante estos días. Thank you, Mayor, for the hospitality and uh, the organization of this event, of these days. He tenido. Gracias, don Luis Trimar, por la hospitalidad y por la organización de este evento en estos días. Bueno, como sabes, he tenido la oportunidad de estar unos días más en Rumanía y estoy encantado con el país, así que muchas gracias. So he has been here more days in Romania and uh, he is in love of this amazing country. Am aflat pentru câteva zile în România înainte de aceste proiecte și m-am îndrăgostit de această țară, de România. Bueno, estamos encantados con el proyecto de participación y de impulso europeo. We are uh, very happy to have this uh, participation, to be 
to be part in this participation project and in this impulsive project of the EU Bailus. Y que sin duda nos va a ayudar en el futuro a forjar nuevas alianzas, en nuevos proyectos, en nuevas ideas importantes para nosotros, para nuestra ciudad. Without a doubt, it will, it will help to have new ideas and to give a new approaches for our city. Fără dubiu, acest proiect ne va ajuta să avem noi idei, noi strategii și să, și să venim cu noi abordări pentru municipalitatea noastră. Queremos seguir colaborando en hacer de Europa nuestro espacio común, nuestra casa, la casa de todos y que las buenas prácticas e ideas que tenemos en los municipios se puedan exportar a, otro, a otras ciudades como la nuestra. So we want to go on making a, a the EU as a, as a common space and also we, uh, we really believe that the replicability of ideas are very important for our communities. Vrem să continuăm să facem uh, spațiu european, uh, comunitatea europeană, un uh, spațiu uh, comun al nostru, al cetățenilor și suntem convinși de potențialul de identificare și de follow-up și de replicare a uh, ideilor care au fost dezvoltate în cadrul acestui proiect. Și nostru obiectiv siempre será, imagino că, cum el del resto, a hacer políticas para las personas y hacer que la gente sea más feliz. And our common objective, and I imagine as um, the rest of the objectives of the rest of the people that are here, is uh, to give uh, a, a good uh, a space for the people and to make the life better for the people. The objective of our common project, y ahora os presento a nuestro equipo, el equipo de Mislata. And uh, now we are he is going to present the uh, Mislata team. Adri Free translation. <laughs> Vom uh, reprezenta echipa echipa uh, municipalității din Mislata pe care o reprezint. Adria, que es nuestro técnico de la Oficina de Proyectos Europeos y traductor. Mi, Adria, y uh, Project Coordinator and trans Translation, also. Adria, coordinator. Coordinator del Departamento de Proyectos Europeos en el cadro primario y ocasional translator. Roberto, que es nuestro jefe del Servicio de Cultura del Ayuntamiento. Roberto, the head of the culture, the head of the culture department of the uh, municipality. Chef of the department of the culture in the municipality of Mislata, Roberto. And Pepi, Alejandro, Fernando, Chimo and Carlos, who are concejales or assistants who help us to make the government better. Pepi, Alejandro, Fernando, Chimo, and Carlos, they are counselors and uh, they uh, help to make our lives better. Numele nostru mai repet, domnul sunt consilier local în cadrul municipalității din Mislata și ajută să pentru acțiunea activităților primării. Și în Mislata tenis vostra casa. Thank you very much. And you know that in Mislata, Mislata is your house and uh, you are very welcome uh, every time you want. La paella, las fallas, la horchata. <laughs> paella, fallas, horchata. Uh, uh, cu uh, atracții culinare foarte interesante, paelia. <laughs> da. 
Mulțumim, Adrian, mulțumim, domnului primar Carlos. Aș vrea să, înainte să intrăm în sesiunea de, de discuții, să vă mai spun câteva dintre impresiile acestui proiect. Uh, before uh, we move on uh, with our uh, schedule, I would like to uh, tell you some uh, impressions, some thoughts uh, about this project. Noi am reușit să trimitem în uh, cele patru țări uh, 14 primari de stațiuni balneare mm -hmm. din România. We are, uh, during the project, we were able to involve in the activities from other uh, from the other countries the project activities a number of uh, 14 uh, mayors uh, from our association Eu personal am reușit să ajung în trei țări din cele patru pe care le avem în proiect am fost în Polonia de două ori în Grecia și în Italia Me personally I was able to attend three out of four countries that are partners in the project I was able to attend two times for the activities and events in Poland also in Italy and in Greece și am rămas uh, uh, impresionat și avem o experiență deja pe care am acumulat-o în uh, aceste vizite And I was uh, very impressed, uh, and we already have a, a, a good experience that we accumulated uh, during these uh, visits, during these events. De asemenea, proiectul uh, a inclus uh, acele chestionare și suntem uh, foarte interesați să uh, le evaluăm și să îmbunătățim uh, atât comunicarea în pe orizontală, în localitate, cât și comunicarea cu uh, Europa și să identificăm cât mai multe oportunități pentru comunitățile noastre. Also, the project involved a very important uh, aspect, which was the survey, the questionnaire that was addressed to the citizens, and we are highly interested uh, on further uh, evaluating the conclusions of the survey and also to adapt them in a horizontal matter to the o să o să am ocazia să le mulțumesc că mâine seară când o să avem cina festivă de final, dar aș vrea astăzi acum pentru că este și televiziunea să le transmită mulțumiri tuturor primarilor care s-au implicat în aceste proiecte, tuturor stafurilor care au reprezentat țările respective și să-i asigur de toată prietenia și respectul meu personal și al Asociației Stațiunilor Balneare din România. We will have the occasion uh, again uh, tomorrow uh, when we will have the farewell uh, event uh, to address a uh, big thank you to everybody uh, for the project, but I want to take advantage of the presence of the, pre of the press and the media for this session and uh, to mention, to uh, give a special thanks to everybody, to our, our partners and representatives for attending uh, to this project and making it uh, a good partnership. First of all, thanks for mayors. Uh, in primul rând, uh, uh, și în primul Mulțum rând, mulțumiri primarii. <laughs> uh, vreau să uh, Vă rog să rămânem și să împărtășim aceste experiențe, o să urmeze prezentările noastre și o să avem și surprize, s-au făcut niște filmulețe și avem în aceste două zile multe lucruri de, de făcut. Uh, vă invităm să rămâneți atunci. Nu, în engleză. Uh, we invite you to, be, uh, to remain with us uh, for the further activities that uh, are included in the agenda. We also have some uh, surprises uh, uh, prepared for you, uh, the presentation, some uh, very interesting uh, movies, small videos and so on and so forth. You will see a bit later. Am uh, pregătit uh... Uh, am pregătit uh, surprize și am pregătit și uh, o plachetă a, a evenimentului, a proiectului uh, de altfel, cu datele uh, de, în care s-au desfășurat uh, etapele de proiect, uh, dar și alte 
out the uh, surprise. Uh, among the surprises uh, is this uh, placket, if you can say it, uh, uh, memory, a souvenir with uh, all the details uh, uh, from our project with the dates and everything, uh, and which is graved in wood, I think. Yes, yes. But uh, also... Uh, it's eco-friendly. Also other uh, surprises. Eco-friendly, it's behind <laughs> the European Union priorities. <laughs> Uh, aș vrea să transmit salutul primarilor de stațiuni balneare de România care nu au putut fi astăzi aici. Chiar în weekendul acesta am vizitat Vața de Jos și Buzia și am discutat cu majoritatea primarilor. E o perioadă de toamnă cu multe proiecte și ei nu au putut să ajungă, dar uh, le transmit salutul lor tuturor celor de aici. Other uh, represented other mayors of uh, which are uh, included in the Association of Banyan Material Resources that could not be uh, here today. But it's an autumn period with uh, intense uh, activity. You know the municipalities. Uh, just uh, some time ago, I visited the municipality of Vaza. Când v-am să mulțumesc că Consilierul local de la Sărim Moldova mi-am dat seama că n-am prezentat-o pe doamna Dana Buțan, care este consilier local la Sărim Moldova și vă rog să o aplaudați. Scuze! Dana Buțan, care este un local consilier în municipalitatea de Sărim Moldova. Da, acum aș vrea să vă dau... Uh, să, vă, să vă prezentați uh, uh, ce etapele următoare și o să ieșim la o cafea la 11.30 după care uh, partea a doua și mai departe. Of the project, and then uh, we'll have a, a coffee break, uh, and then we'll have the second, uh, the second part of the morning session, uh, where we will uh, finalize our activities. Okay. Okay. Uh, I would like also to thank you very much for the for the representatives uh, of the for the high level representatives. Thank you. Thank you. And Thank you. now we will uh, continue. Of course, uh, I will uh, try not to be uh, so official. Uh, uh, the official part, let's say, of uh, the introductions and of uh, the mayors uh, was in the first part. And to discuss a bit about uh, our project. Uh, everybody here uh, uh, knows uh, the uh, name of our project? Yes, yes we should. So, uh, as uh, it was mentioned here, we are uh, uh, now in the last uh, event uh, uh, of the Active EU Citizens Project. Uh, there were seven events in total, and now we are in the final phase. Uh, and we have a short video, a short presentation. Presentation. Uh, we'll have uh, just few slides to, to have some uh, remembering of actually what was the project about and uh, what we did during uh, during these uh, 18 months. So, uh, Active EU Citizens Think Global Act Local, the name of the project. Uh, it was implemented uh, for 18 months. It started in June 2022, last year, and we are finalizing in December 2023 which means that now we are uh, at the last event that is uh, organized in uh, in Sredin Moldova, in Romania, the seventh event of the project. 
and then uh, we have two more months to finalize of all of our results of the project uh, to do the dissemination and the visibility of the project. Next slide, please. So let's remember a bit uh, why we initiated this project. What was the main purpose of the project is very important from, a, from the European Union point of view, what we wanted to achieve. So uh, let's say this is the official uh, objective, if I can say like that, or goal. So active uh, EU citizens is a, low, is a pilot project that brought together towns and municipalities from five European Union countries, Romania, Poland, Italy, Spain and Greece, that share the same goal to better involve uh, the citizens in the life of the community, while creating a sustainable strategy for cooperation and exchange of good practices at EU level. Uh, the project uh, aimed uh, in all its phases to enhance the direct contact between citizens and authorities from consortium countries, perform exchange of good practices, transnational brainstorming, consultation process, we had the survey and the research, in order to reinforce the feeling of belonging and awareness uh, to the European family. This is very important. That was the theoretical part, the part that is boring. Uh, but actually, why we really cooperated <laughs> in this project? It's like uh, a question uh, I, I would uh, really be interested to get some feedback from you, since it's the last uh, event of the of our project. Maybe we can, anybody who would like to, you know, honestly answer to this question, why we cooperated in this project? Anybody who wants, I mean, it's, uh, we are very curious, uh, uh, like, about your opinion when the project is closing uh, to find out what you think. Who wants? Jana, please. Thank you. Martin, you want to say yes, something? Yes, for sure. We always, as usual in the European project, want to share the European values at the one side, but the main purpose of our actions is to increase collaboration between nations, between citizens, between municipalities, between politicians and citizens. And we want to also to find new contacts, new way of possibilities to looking for new methods, tools, uh, way of involving those citizens in their local society to create them more sustainable and create them more inclusive also for those citizens. Thank you very much. As uh, always, very structured opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have a simple follow. Maybe it starts with like yeah. the, not much, but a simple opinion. And I repeat uh, the, the meaning of my introduction. I think that it's important to understand the potential that we have if we understand that we can stay together well, we can collaborate for our communities, and we can uh, explain to our communities that we have a common house and in our common house we can work for all today together. Uh, we must to, uh, to try and work uh, to build a future of our collaboration. This is the most important uh, thing that we can uh, bring from this experience. Thank you very much. It's very nice to hear such uh, nice words and the more uh, with the Latin impact, uh, much in a more uh, Nordic a bit. But it's very good, like all the answers, this is not like uh, right and wrong answers, it's like diverse as the Europe is. Huh? Europe is super diverse and uh, the understanding of each of us on what was the meaning of the project can, can be based on our personal uh, context and uh, uh, the place where we come from and uh, everything. 
Uh, any other uh, opinions why we cooperated in this project? Uh, maybe from uh, I, I, the other. In one, uh, one yes. um, um, sentence, uh, it's a very our partnership. It's very good base for future cooperation. It's an occasion to uh, to um, um, achieve a knowledge about our partnership. Thank you, thank you very much, and I would also totally agree that the partnership in the project was very strong, very good and very professional, and uh, it helped very much for a very good uh, implementation and the high quality of the project and of the results. Uh, I'm sure that uh, the project can be easily seen as a, as a good practice among other initiatives like this for uh, transnational cooperation, also in uh, for, uh, Brussels, of course. Um, and also, it's very important uh, this partnership uh, between uh, the, the European citizens for uh, uh, make the good good community in Europe. But in the world, Europe it's it's important, and and our cooperation make this <coughs> this strong relationship uh, uh, the the. This project uh, have uh, offered the possibility mm -hmm. for communication, the European citizens for, for for a strong relationship between. I uh, totally agree, and uh, I I think to to continue to what Mr. Mayor is saying, uh, Europe can be stronger in the world if it's strong inside. And uh, this cooperation uh, between our various countries, uh, of course, make uh, European Union stronger. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I will, will not keep it too long. I just wanted to you to understand and uh, the fact that behind the, the let's say the official uh, uh, language of the projects, which are you are very used behind this is uh, behind of every cooperation project at European Union level, there is something more deep. And of course, the feelings of uh, our cooperation and why we did this is different based on our backgrounds, context, countries that we come. Yeah. But I'm sure all of you, each of you, can do a reflection and think a bit why you took part in the project, what was the purpose, uh, because I'm sure that everybody could find some very uh, nice goals and think a bit how it was at the beginning and if you find yourself after 18 months a bit better from uh, any aspects that uh, you could consider. Uh, good, so we uh, move on. Uh, of course, I will. I just wanted uh, because this this was the this was the core of the project. The most important part, the partners. Without the partners, nothing uh, could have been done. And without uh, serious partners and engaged, uh, we will not be here now after uh, almost one and a half year in the last uh, stage of the project. We have a very good uh, quality of the results. So I just wanted to mention them again to be clear. Also from our guests from uh, Romania which are the partners. Uh, so, of course, the leader of the project and the one who initiated uh, this project is the National Association of Balneoclimateric Resorts in Romania. Um, then, uh, from Poland, of course, we have the Association of Co uh, Polish Communes Euro Region Baltic. Uh, from Italy, uh, of course, the Gambassi Terme Municipality. Uh, from Spain, the Mislata municipality, and from Greece, Agi, Anargiri, Kamatero. I hope I pronounced it correct. It's not an easy uh, name to pronounce even after one and a half years. <laughs> it still uh, brings some challenges. Uh, so these were our uh, partners, and I would also like to address a big, big thank you for their involvement in the project. And actually, you did, uh, you had a uh, because of you, our project is uh, finishing uh, properly and uh, because of your work. So a big thank you again to our partners. Um, okay, so what we actually did, uh, also I tried to do it a bit non-formal, the presentation, not to be too boring. We had seven events organized in five uh, European countries. Uh, do you remember with what we started in uh, what was the first event? Poland, in September in Poland. In Elbrook. 
and we see the okay so in L blog we met from 27 to 30 of September 2022 it looks like uh, forever passed since then unfortunately I was not able to attend but I could find some very nice and interesting photos I would say uh, from the first uh, uh, from the first event that we organized in Poland that was dedicated to staff from the municipalities that was the purpose and also um, specialists in uh, different fields to start we are just at the beginning to understand a bit what we are dealing with when it comes to cooperation better involvement of the citizens in the life of the community so it was uh, from what I so, and from what the Polish partner uh, told us, it was a very nice first event. Now everybody was a bit more shy at the beginning. Uh, it was the first contact. <coughs> we didn't know each other so much. We didn't know what to expect also at the beginning. Yes, we That's didn't. Right. We didn't know what to expect, but and uh, we thank. Uh, actually, we we had the first meeting in Poland because our Polish partner had the most experience in such. Uh, in such uh, projects, uh, maybe other programs, not exactly chair, but uh, they were experienced and we wanted to see how it goes. So it was uh, back in uh, September last year in Elbrook. Then what we had, uh, the second one, do you remember? Yes. Okay, let's see next. Okay, in Greece, we had from 7 to 10 of uh, November 2022, uh, this, uh, the second phase of the project uh, to follow up uh, and to further discuss the conclusion of the first uh, meeting uh, in Poland to start working on our questionnaire uh, to start working a bit on the strategy uh, so actually things started to become more intense let's say from a work point of view uh, starting the second uh, event that happened uh, in Greece, in AAK, municipality near Athens between 7 and 10 November 2022. So this was the second one. Uh, then we move forward for the third one, where it was? In Gambasi. Let's see. So in Gambasi we had from 6 to 9 of February 2023 some very, very beautiful and nice events. I also attended to this uh, event, it was the first one where I could come and it was super uh, well organized, uh, our hosts were so kind, I remember very good the welcoming that it was at the school uh, with the small children, it was very nice, very warm, welcoming there and everything was, uh, was super nice. Uh, besides this part with the photos, in uh, Gambasi we actually we started to work, if you remember, on the strategy for uh, enhancing the cultural heritage, uh, because this was a two-phase uh, document, strategic document. The first part we worked in Italy and we finalized the, the strategic document in Spain. Uh, it had two components. This was the main goal, let's say, of the, of the event uh, that happened in um, in Gambasi Terme, it was in February uh, 2023. Uh, very nice moments spent there. And then after uh, Gambasi Terme, uh, you remember what it followed up? Spain. Okay. So Spain, we had um, from 9 to 12 May 2023. In Spain, uh, we actually it was uh, we also celebrated Europe Day <laughs> in Spain, uh, the 9th of May, and it was a very nice uh, event, very well organized. Uh, uh, thank you very much to our partners in Spain in Mislata municipality. <coughs> uh, we saw a lot uh, of practices in also in Spain and we managed uh, from the project point of view we managed to finalize the uh, strategy for enhancing the cultural heritage the one that we started in uh, Italy we finalized the strategy in uh, Spain it was a very good uh, and very well organized event we also had the occasion because we were very interested in the cultural heritage uh, maybe Adria knows well we had the occasion to meet a very famous artist um, 
Mikhail Navarro. Mikhail Navarro. Uh, he is a very, I understand that even uh, in United States he is very yeah, popular. He has a permanent uh, association in, the, in New York. Yes, yes. So uh, this was uh, the event organized in uh, Mislata. Okay, this was number four, and then we move on to event number five, where it was? Yeah. Romania. Romania. Let's see. Do we have a next slide? Okay, Romania. Things started to get color. <laughs> it was already July. Uh, very, very nice weather. We had in, uh, in uh, Romania uh, a very, very warm and nice welcoming, if you remember it. From, from the uh, local uh, authorities from uh, Sari Moldova, from uh, Mr. Mayor uh, Bach and also from the other mayors from the Association of Balkan Climateric uh, Resorts. Uh, this was the, the event in uh, Romania where we actually, do you remember uh, what we tried to focus on? <laughs> from a project point of view, we tried and we succeeded to uh, work on the questionnaire and to uh, assess the results. We also fought on what is missing from the conclusions uh, in order to, to aggregate the results uh, uh, from all the countries. So after this event, we as a lead partner, we managed to finish the document, which was the the results of the questionnaire. I would like to underline this, uh, and of course I would like you to use it. It's a very, very valuable information that we have there, statistical data from 1,500 citizens from five countries. Uh, it's very interesting with the conclusions that we get there, and as uh, Mr. Mayor mentioned, maybe uh, each of the partners should uh, uh, use it for of improving uh, the communication and the relation with the citizens. So this was the event in uh, Slonim, Moldova. We had a lot of press interviews uh, with television, uh, with uh, other kind of media. A very well, a very very good coverage of the event in the in the media, and we are very very happy about this. Okay, and then of course. Uh, it was the event in Poland uh, between 18 and 21 of September 2023. Um, of course, as always, super well organized uh, by our partners uh, from Poland. A very good agenda, very comprehensive. We managed to see a lot of municipalities, to see a lot of practices. We went to all kinds. Uh, of, uh, of municipalities. We saw a lot of how Poland is doing, uh, is working at the local level from many points of view. I think it was a very good and fruitful and uh, successful uh, event. Uh, obviously, the Polish partner put a lot of time and effort in, uh, in organizing this. Uh, but, and the results are uh, very, very good from the project point of view. And uh, yes, these are just few photos that also show the European diversity in the end. Uh, we visited so many things there that it's even hard to remember. I remember actually the Ukrainian uh, school uh, for students that we managed to see. We managed to see also the municipality of the Mrs. Mayor here and she showed us a lot of things, a lot of good practices, the hospital and uh, other, other things that we saw. We went to Dinia, we went to many other Putz, Elblog, and other uh, Staviguda, Olsztynek. Uh, so it looked like it was, I don't know, like we were one week there. It was super intense. We, we saw a lot of things and I'm very, very grateful to, to the partner in Poland for putting together such a comprehensive agenda. But besides the places that we visited, from the project point of view, also had a very, very important outcome, which is actually the main outcome of the project, which is the strategy. Long, the long-term strategy for uh, cooperation between the municipalities, which is basically 
in the final stages uh, of uh, until we can officially release it. We are now organizing some expert meetings, uh, four expert meetings that our Polish partner is handling in order to fine tune all the small details of the strategy and to be able to publish it as a common document uh, assumed by all the partners uh, regarding future cooperation. Because as you know, a European project doesn't finish uh, suddenly. It also, it's very good to have a, uh, yes, a, a continuation and the impact uh, after wars also. Uh, so these were the meetings <coughs> and very short uh, I wanted to also mention the project results. Of course, after the meeting, we will share with you all these results. I didn't want to go through uh, com complicated documents because, uh, you know, sometimes it sounds a bit bureaucratic. <laughs> uh, but I just wanted to know which are the results. Uh, so the project results are the staff and expert meetings that took uh, uh, place in Poland and Greece. Then the second result is the strategy for enhancing cultural heritage through EU level cooperation. If you remember, we worked on this strategy in uh, Italy and in Spain. It was a two part uh, document that we managed to, and uh, this is already, we already submitted to this document to Brussels. Uh, it was very well, very good welcomed and uh, the content. Okay, next. Then we have the comprehensive survey research on over 1,500 European Union citizens from uh, five countries. Uh, it was a very big effort. I think it was the, the, the biggest effort that we had to take in, uh, in our project. It was not uh, easy work. I know very well that uh, uh, sometimes it was pretty hard uh, to find the proper uh, respondents and everything, but in the end we did it. We have the survey, we have the conclusions, and this is a framework document very good to, implement, to use it in your local communities. And of course the last result of our project is the strategy proposal for civic engagement and participatory democracy, the strategy for our common cooperation uh, between, uh, between the partnership that our partner in Poland is uh, coordinating. Uh, we have a very good document now for which we are doing fine tuning during the expert meetings that uh, uh, Marcin and his team is uh, coordinating. Okay, so these were the projects, the results, and uh, what is next, we will discuss after the coffee break. So I'm sure that everybody is a bit uh, tired, uh, I mean tired, uh, coffee is always good, and we will meet here according to the schedule. Okay, the coffee break is for 20 minutes. So. Okay. Please, uh, just a moment. I want to uh, appreciate uh, Dragos and his team. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so we will see each other after the coffee break in 20 minutes, okay? In the same place. Okay. Uh, this part will be more intense in uh, concrete activities related to the project. Then afternoon we'll have a bit more of exploration uh, of the local community of Sunny Moldova. We will show you some very beautiful landscapes uh, which are protected areas, uh, Nature 2000, and uh, we will, uh, let's say, have a, a nice uh, evening. Uh, uh, but for this uh, we need to, to finish with the uh, concrete aspects re uh, regarding to the project. Uh, which is very important. Uh, however, before going to the most serious things, uh, we would like to present you a short film. video, a short film uh, that was prepared by uh, by uh, Mr. Cristia Babe and uh, the partner from uh, Romania, which shows some very interesting and beautiful 
uh, aspects and uh, memories uh, from our uh, project that was implemented. So we invite you to watch this uh, very nice uh, video.
Thank you very much. Uh, I think it's very important uh, besides the, you know, the technical aspects of the project, is, uh, uh, these are memories that will remain uh, after the project. Uh, uh, a picture is the value of 1,000 words and uh, it, uh, it's very nice to see like a, a recap of uh, one and a half years in five minutes. So uh, thank you to Mr. Ababe for this uh, beautiful collage of the video. Um, from now on uh, we will uh, uh, try to finish in about uh, uh, until half past 12. Uh, uh, we will try to fit in, uh, in this schedule. Uh, so uh, I would just <coughs> now want to, uh, give, uh, to give to your attention uh, some of the main results of the project. Of course uh, we have more results. Uh, but we don't have the physical time to present everything. We will share them with you afterwards uh, for, uh, if you want for a deeper analysis and to use it in your local communities. Uh, we will just focus our uh, attention on two very important and main results of the project. Uh, <laughs> if we have another video, no problem. <laughs> Uh, so the first one the, uh, will be the PDF. Okay, we will uh, try to show you a bit, uh, a bit uh, of uh, the conclusions of the survey uh, that uh, took part across the consortium in five countries. Let's see if uh, we manage with the technical aspects. Perfect. So, uh, as I told you, one of the key project results <coughs> is the is the survey uh, regarding the 
feedback of our citizens from uh, all the countries uh, regarding their involvement in the local communities, their cooperation and their interaction with the local communities. Because one of our main goals of the project was to figure out solutions and good practices on how we can bring our citizens closer to the local authorities, to the municipalities, and involve them more in the life of the community. And for this, we wanted to see from where we start. I mean, what is the, the status, what are the needs of our citizens, and how, what actions, concrete actions we could take in order to, to answer to their needs. Uh, and for this, we carried out this uh, survey, a very complex one, I would say, that was carried out in uh, five countries, as I mentioned, over 1,500 respondents. And it's a strategic document that it's still uh, with some fine-tuning. It's not 100% the final version, but it will give you a good uh, idea on what are the outcomes, the conclusions of the survey. I will not go through all the document because it's very big. I will just stop here a bit where is some information regarding uh, uh, general remarks, like a small summary. So we had uh, 1,500, over 1,500 uh, citizens from Spain, Italy, Greece and Poland. And each partner from the consortium carried out the survey with approximately 300 citizens from the, their local communities. The responses were received both online and offline format to ensure accessibility to all citizens and not to limit the use of the survey based on digital competence. For example, we had situations in some countries, I know in Italy and not maybe other countries, where the citizens are more comfortable to answer on a paper format. So we also offer this possibility and then put centralize the data in order to have a statistically relevant. Um, and this situation applied especially for the citizens with fewer opportunities. The elderly, uh, some social difficulties or some uh, limited uh, digital competences. Uh, also the survey, in order to understand how it was, it focused on the needs uh, identified in the application structure. It was in 37 questions and four uh, key areas of interest for the citizens and local municipalities. And the four parts were the state of citizens' knowledge and involvement of the citizens in the local communities, very important. The, the second part was the state of information and cooperation between citizens and local <coughs> communities. The third part, key advantage, uh, advantages and unicity of the local communities in the European Union diversity context, because every, every community has its own particularity, European Union is very diverse. And the fourth part is the uh, citizen state of identity with the European Union values. We wanted to understand how the citizens approach the, the, the uh, area of European Union, how they feel about it, if they feel close to it, if they feel a distance, and what is their point of view. Very, very important and useful information that we obtain in this survey. And the answers, of course, were processed anonymously. We are not interested so much in who is answering uh, about the person, the name and everything. And they were solely used for statistical purpose uh, in order to better understand the local community state of play and the needs of the citizens. And a bit about the conclusions, they are widely heterogeneous across the five consortium countries. For example, in terms of age, the majority of respondents are above 40 years old, except of Greece, where we identified an interest for the younger generation. Uh, over 80% of the respondents from all five countries are residents of the local communities for more than 10 years, uh, while uh, over 50% of the respondents are, res are resident uh, since birth. So they were born there since uh, they were born in the local community where they are currently living. And below 2% uh, of the respondents are not residents. I mean, they are uh, uh, just living there without being uh, uh, with uh, proper residence. <coughs> 
In terms of gender, most respondents were female, with 56% females in Romania, 76% in Spain, 53% in Italy, 57% in Greece, and 56% in Poland. Uh, a high level of engagement was also shown by women for the project activities, which is very important incentive in terms of gender equality and involvement of the women in the life of the local communities. It's also a very important priority of the European Union, and we are happy that uh, we got a lot of answers and we had a very good gender balance from this point of view and a very big interest from uh, women to respond to our questionnaire. Uh, regarding the work status, the distribution is the following. Uh, like respondents with full-time or, far or part-time job, 80% in Romania, 52 in Spain, 71 in Italy, 40% uh, in Greece. However, in Greece, 39% did not disclose their work status. It was their uh, option. And 73% uh, full-time or part-time job from Poland. Uh, the survey data conclusions, of course, will be incorporated and used for the preparation of the key final deliverable of the project which is the long-term strategy for citizens' involvement and participative democracy, about which uh, Marcin will uh, uh, tell you a few words afterwards, because they were coordinating this uh, strategy, and they did a very, very good job, I would say. Okay, and moving forward, uh, you can go more. Uh, as you see, more, 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 let's see, a bit more, more, you can go. Okay, here you have uh, a lot of statistical data. You can, uh, Christy, post it put in my mold. Uh, I want to see a partner that is not Romania, to be more interesting. Okay. Post it on prima pagina, la început de tot. Okay, let's try to go with Poland, because I really like uh, Poland, they always do a good, good job. Uh, like, they click the Polonia Polonia. Okay, so for example, uh, these are the results uh, of the survey that uh, were obtained uh, from Poland. Of, of course, the document is centralizing the results from all the countries. And as you see, the split on the four chapters, this is the part one, for example, this was the question regarding the the age and the distribution <coughs> based on age, and you can see below the distribution based on gender, uh, with most of the respondents female, 56%. Okay, let's go next. Level of education, we are very uh, interested about this, and we have the interpretation of the data regarding what is the level of education. Uh, work status, the next question, let's see. Um, the period of re residency and the citizens influence in the local community. I just go to understand what is the structure because for each country is the same in terms of structure. Of course, the conclusions are different because uh, the answers were different. Okay, let's go more. Uh, for example, question 11, are you aware of any good practices at your local community level? And the answer is on the next page, let's see. Uh, so, for example, in Poland we have 62% that said that they are aware and recognize good practices in local government, the majority of it. Uh, we also took in, uh, 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 were very interested if there are any barriers for uh, age or language in the community, uh, and here the answers uh, uh, were uh, uh, mostly no which is encouraging, but still, for example, for Poland, we have 42% uh, of a, so a certain degree, a certain percentage of the population that are still facing a, some sort of uh, barriers. Okay, uh, about the way to contact local authorities, for example, what is the most um, common way to contact them? We have uh, the most of answers with direct contact, but also email, website, social media, and telephone with certain percentages. Okay, next. Uh, information about the local activities. For example, in Poland, 71% of respondents have information 
it's an encouraging percentage, just to be honest, and only 29% declare that they don't have. So uh, things are, let's say, on the good path in this situation. Uh, next, reasons why citizens do not participate uh, in the in the local activities, uh, and 62% uh, declare the lack of interest, most of them and 20% a lack of information about such involvement in the community life. Uh, about the question if there is a process of providing ideas directly to your municipality, if, if the municipality is offering, uh, you know, the framework for, for uh, uh, gathering for public consultation uh, regarding initiatives in Poland, for example, 60% uh, said yes. In, uh, again, an encouraging uh, percentage, and 40% no. Uh, how much do you trust the local authorities? This is always a very interesting uh, uh, question, uh, especially for the <coughs> politicians. Uh, so, for example, here it's from 1 to 5, it was a scoring, and you see like 1, it means the least trust, and five, the most trust. You see, the distribution is uh, is uh, is pretty somehow heterogeneous. But uh, most of the answers are with three and four, which is uh, also above the medium, let's say, above the average. And the question 19: If there is cooperation between local authorities and citizens, 69% yes, 31% no, and if yes. What is the cooperation, the consultation with the citizens? For example, in Poland, most of them, they said public consultations on various aspects, and also 23% participation in local organizations, such as NGOs or other associative uh, organizations, and also some percentages were related to the civic budget and to the volunteering and cultural activities. Okay? Uh, here you have other statistical data, I will not insist on them, we will provide uh, the, the study to everybody and it will be also on the website of the, uh, of the project for whoever is interested to go deeper in it, feel free to, to look into it, okay? About the priorities, this is very interesting, maybe one page before. Uh, ah, okay, so uh, it was uh, uh, about the priorities. Uh, for example, in Poland, we have the EU funding, uh, the most important priority for citizens at the local uh, uh, level. Uh, European Union funding is playing a key role in the development of the of the communities, and it's, this is also reflected by the answers uh, of the citizens. Then, very interesting, 25% uh, are interested in tourism and culture. Maybe also that, um, uh, I don't know, Poland, uh, if the case of Poland, but for example, for other municipalities, like in Romania, they are mostly focused with the economy on tourism. And, uh, all, of course, we see a lot of citizens being highly in, uh, interested in this uh, sector of uh, uh, of economy. Also other percentages were uh, received by social policies, international cooperation, climate change and digital transformation. Um, opportunities, equal opportunities to participate in uh, activities a lot uh, at local level. Yes and rather yes is having a high, all, uh, close to 75 percent I believe, which is again a very good percentage um, uh, promising uh, results, I would say, for Poland. Uh, next, do you think that your municipality should get closer to the EU values? This is uh, related to how people see the European Union, uh, also a very uh, sensitive topic nowadays, and we wanted to see what is the approach of our citizens about the European Union and the EU values and policies. In, in uh, Poland, 76% of the respondents said uh, yes, uh, they should get closer to the EU values, while 24% uh, said no. And uh, the question if you are aware of any financed project by the European Union that was implemented by your municipality, 74% said yes and 26% no. Uh, this uh, uh, number should uh, make us think a bit 
For example, if the information and the awareness uh, is enough, or we should, uh, at the local level, municipalities should push more in the direction of informing better the citizens about the projects and about the initiatives that are financed by uh, European Union. And the part three, how much you trust your local authorities, uh, very diverse question with most of them with three and four which is uh, also above average. Okay, next. There is cooperation between uh, local authorities and citizens. <laughs> Interesting question, 69% said yes, 31% said no. And if the ones that said yes, in which form? And we wanted to know. And most of them is public consultation, civic budget, uh, and participation in local organization. is somehow related to the previous question that I mentioned. Okay. Uh, other statistical data, if they, if authorities uh, provide clear information about European Union initiative and activities, most of the respondents, we have like a 39.9%, partially agree, strongly agree 22.1, um, and lower numbers for neither agree, disagree, or uh, uh, strongly disagree. So, also encouraging, but uh, still place for improvement. Okay. Uh, this is mostly related uh, to the local authorities if they value different uh, opinions of the citizens. I will not enter into them so much. I, you can uh, study, I mean, you can access the research online and you will find out more. Okay. Public participation planning, how it happens, also statistical data are very valuable, we would say, for the, for the partners and for the local municipalities. Priorities that uh, should focus the municipality, okay. Okay, I think, uh, I think we already uh, move to, okay, go. Ah, here is very important. Is your city infrastructure adapted to seniors, people, and people with disabilities? You know that uh, European Union is putting a high emphasis on this part of on inclusion, on social inclusion, also for the people with uh, fewer opportunities. And 48% uh, said rather yes, 18% um, yes, and then 26%. Uh, rather no and 8% no. So here it's still, an, uh, from the citizens perspective, it's still a need to adapt better the infrastructure for people with fewer opportunities. Okay. Okay, and part four and the last one, and I will stop uh, uh, bothering you with boring uh, aspects. Um, do you see yourself living in the same town and city in the next five to ten years? We are curious how, what the people would say if they want to live in continuous. And actually, in this situation of uh, uh, Poland, 78% said yes, and only 22% said no. And regarding the level of integration, uh, if, you, if the citizens consider fully integrated member in the local community, 40% partially agree, strongly agree 35%. So we have 75% on the positive side, again a very good percentage. And super uh, interesting and important for our project, uh, regarding how do our citizens feel if they consider European. and. Uh, um, in Poland, we had 60, uh, no, 56 percent of the respondents strongly agree, and 24 partially agree. So a total of uh, 80 percent um, strongly or partially agree, and only tw uh, 20 percent with different opinions, like <coughs> strongly disagree or neither agree or disagree. Also depending on the local context. Of course, maybe the data is not relevant for the country level, for sure, 
but uh, uh, we can uh, be sure that it's relevant for the local community level. It's, uh, I, I think it has a statistical value. Okay. I feel attached to the values of the European Union. You see, a, a, again, a strong distribution. But uh, what is uh, happy, let's say, or what is good to see is that most of them are strongly agree or, or partially agree, the, the bigger percentages. Uh, so over 65%, 65% with, with strongly agree and partially, uh, partially agree, like the yellow and the green in the first uh, chart. And uh, if, you, if the citizen consider fully informed on matters related to the European Union, um, here we have 39% yellow with partially agree, and for example 26 with strongly agree. Again, the majority are on the positive side, but there is still a part of the population that still feel the needs, need for improvement and they don't consider themselves uh, fully informed, but there is a need for a bit of improvement. Okay, and here uh, we also have other uh, other statistical data, and this is interesting. How do you see the future of the European Union in ten years? Uh, is the second uh, chart. So we have like this: a positive 34 percent and rather positive, uh, 46%. So we have a total of uh, 80%, which is which see the future of the European Union in uh, 10 years in a positive or a rather positive way. And of course, the percentage, there is still a part of the respondents of the population that uh, rather see it uh, around 20%. Uh, have a more negative attitude and do not see the development and good situation of the EU in the future. So maybe this would also have make us think a bit, not only because of the percentage, but uh, not to you know have increases in this percentage. Okay, and we go to the last four questions. How do you see your city or town in ten years? Maybe uh, the mayors would be highly interested in. Uh, in the answers here, for example, for the situation of Poland, um, we have 80% agree that uh, they will live in the city for the next 10 years, and they see it in a positive or a rather positive way. Uh, good, uh, promising uh, uh, data. And the last one, uh, the last three, if the people are involved in civil society activity, like non-governmental non organization or associations, uh, in Poland, for example, only 42% said yes, and 58 said no. I think here it's a room for improvement. And the last two, if you are planning to get involved in a civil society activity, and here it's almost equal, like 51 with 49, yes and no. And the last one, uh, in which of the activities are you interested? Uh, also, we have a very big diversity here, but most of the respondents in Poland were related to culture, to tourism, uh, concert with 10%, leisure with 11 environment with 11 and of course other uh, aspects. Politics may be rather low, 3%, uh, re refugee helping 1%, equality 3%, cinema, music 7-8%. So these are the type of activities in which citizens are interested. Okay, and uh, this was uh, this was it. This is the questionnaire uh, that we had. Uh, the same uh, as I presented now repeats for all the countries, of course, with different results. The results are maybe uh, somehow different, uh, and it's normal because uh, each uh, local community has a different context. And we truly invite you to to uh, check this document, uh, and maybe you will find it useful, since we have a lot of representatives of the municipalities for the future policies or activities that we plan to do with the local citizens. Uh, thank you very much. This was the questionnaire.
and uh, for the time that we have left, uh, maybe five, five, six, seven minutes, I will give the word to Marcin to present actually the most uh, important result of our project, which is the long-term strategy that was uh, done by the consortium partners. So, Marcin. Thank you, Dargos, from this impressive <coughs> of ana and analysis of our document, which are the survey. Yeah, uh, maybe we can move to the strategy, uh, long-term strategy, which is the main of the output. It's really well covered with all those things which has been said before, that we want to increase civic participation, but we have to provide proper tools and methods to do that. And the strategy is one way to, to achieve this result. Uh, at the beginning, we also tried to, uh, in the event, during the event in Poland, we tried to structureize how the strategy should look like, what content should also uh, covered by this strategy and it has been said that the strategy it can be only a document which serve the present the aims present the main results of all those analyzers of those uh, those things which has said be, be been before we decided to divide this document into different uh, phases if I can ask for the next page I can we can see the content table of content no previous one we move a little bit to, to fourth maybe to the second page yeah okay maybe without that yeah this is the background at the beginning we described the background why we did that and this has been said before we want to increase civic participation we want to provide tools and methods for those local administration to have a better consultation with the people to have better contact with the people and also to inclu uh, include them in this kind of uh, local perspective how how to engage citizens to be more involved in our local societies so at the beginning we uh, uh, in the part one we made a uh, introduction of understanding of the civic uh, participation Sorry. please join us uh, we, de uh, we decided to have introduction to the understanding we have to have a common ground, we have to have a common understanding what civic participation means for our local societies. Here we went to the def definition of the European U Union, what this kind of particip participation is being understood on the uh, European perspective, from the European perspective. And also we will here introduce also your local perspective, how its civic participation is being understood in your countries. So so there are going to be short introduction, ABC of the civic participation, uh, seven uh, principles of the public uh, and civic consultation because we have also to bring those uh, civic principles, what to, how to behave to interest those citizens to be involved in the local societies. Then from the maybe uh, sociological point of view and also this kind of theoretical part, we also introduce who are the main actors of the P civic participation how to recognize them they are animators they are participants they are organizers they are different actors so we have to define them properly then there will be the main topics of to what kind of topics could be introduced though, though to the local citizens and be discussed with them to involve in decision making process to make our local society more inclusive and uh, barriers the most common barriers that appear during the process of the consultation because you most of you are facing the same problem during the consultation nobody wants to attend them and this is the main reason that we should work on especially in this part uh, part second will be just we try to provide uh, from the local administration a proper tools to describe what kind of uh, elements you need what kind of uh, equipment or local resources you need to uh, start the processes of the consultations and make them really working working in your local society so we describe to describe the nine most common uh, <coughs> techniques of this uh, civic uh, 
engagement and this conclusion, uh, sorry, consultation with the uh, citizens. There are different animation methods, opening meetings, consultation point, word cafe. In every point, we describe it how kind, of, what kind of resources, how long the process will last, what kind of stuff should be involved, and what kind of actors should be uh, f uh, considered. What kind of uh, animation options. And the part number three will be the most crucial part, which is the most important. These are the local experiences. Those experiences which are you using in your local society, on which are hard to find anywhere else. So we started to drafting uh, Polish, Gr uh, Spain, Italy, Greece, Romania, your local own experience related to that. Those think, things which could be bring from your countries and being transferred to other that anybody else could use it anywhere else and this is also really important effect of transferring the knowledge transferring the local experience without that our project will be just theoretician description of the actions being taken uh, to to consider civic participation to consider the involvement of the citizens this is the most crucial part because they are local perspectives also they are local methods which are working well which could be introduced uh, in other countries so we are in this part we are learning from each other and part number four is gonna be the main structure of the strategy with the here we try to the describe but it's still a work in progress document we are we will try to describe vision uh, statement what is the main goal of this kind of strategy goals and objectives so what kind of uh, main uh, task for us for the <coughs> local administration for the politicians will be to be introduced by the this strategy then we'll try we try it to create a just implementation uh, plan and here we have so still doubts uh, it should be long term five up to ten years or just short term uh, plan up to three or five years we prepare timeline. If you would like to use this kind of strategy, if you want to uh, provide proper tools to your local administration to help them in the daily work related to increased civic participation, how to prepare the schedule of works, how to prepare ourselves to fulfill the task. And what? And next question, which is really crucial for all these kind of related actions and all this kind of strategy, where to find the funding? where to find the money to, to implement the task. Is it, it should be the local money of the local government or it should be money gathered from the uh, local companies, businesses like crowdfunding or it should be a uh, money related to EU funding and look for those kind of additional money to increase decision making process in your local societies by EU funds, additional uh, EU funding and a stakeholder engagement, how to involve those stakeholders, and at the end there will be also conclusions. Uh, this document will also have two parts, recommendation for implementation following strategy, what steps to avoid, what steps to follow to have a successful strategy. Again, general strategy conclusion, which will be really well combined with those uh, surveys analysis, and uh, a list of involvement experts, which will include not only the staff members of the project but also external expert and also the politician which is crucial for our uh, project to have uh, this kind of multi diverse uh, uh, complex strategy which include different stakeholders like politicians a local administration uh, external expert and those uh, civic specialists who are helping us to increase this kind of and made inclusive cities and what is ahead of us, uh, we will have uh, three additional online meetings on which the expert will be still working on the comments because it's a still work in progress. And after the <coughs> end, we will present this document to our local society. It's going to be translated into local languages and presented during uh, local events to the local societies and consulted with them. It could be uh, citizens, as I mentioned before, it could be administration, or it could be maybe your uh, local or uh, councils 
on which this document could be presented, like a guideline what to do to to be successful in this kind of civic participation. I want I don't want to prolong, so maybe I don't want to go too much deep in the strategy because it's a really impressive document at this stage. It's more than 30 pages, but it's uh, we have to remind it's a toolbox. It's not only the strategy. It's a toolbox including methods, including uh, different kind of description, guidelines, how to deal with that civic participation. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much uh, to Marcin and the Polish partner for, because they are the lead partner, they are coordinators of this uh, very important document, like the most important uh, resource of our project. Uh, uh, I know he wanted to do the presentation very fast, uh, he just presented you the summary, but it's a very complex document uh, and uh, we truly believe and hope that you will make use of it. <laughs> I mean, from the project point of view, it's very good, very important, uh, but also uh, from the follow-up and continuation point of view, it would be very nice and good if partners could uh, make use of this document for planning their future actions with the citizens in the local community and not only to remain as a good document in the drawer <laughs> as you say, or in a shelf. So I just want to tell you to sum up that uh, all documents uh, will be available on the website of the project for further study and with this we uh, finalize the morning session. I just want to give you some logistics.